besties. Okay, so I really wanted to make a new favorite sim. And so I started off looking at my previous two favorite sims. And one was like my first ever favorite sim. Her name was Sophia. And she, I originally had started like a whimsy legacy challenge. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. And I made her to play through that and I just couldn't get into it. But I love the sim. And then the second sim is London, who's my second favorite sim ever. And she actually is like the daughter of the sim that I made for like my random wheel spin legacy <laughs> challenge let's play thing that kind of never took off because like I never really got into it aside from I think the first episode but she had such a good face <laughs> and I played with them for a little while and I made London and I kind of like stuck with her for a while but like I don't hate these sims anymore but like I needed something new like I needed a new sim to sort of like obsess over and like slowly play with because I really struggle with like slow play <laughs> I guess I'll call it because I'm usually playing on like short lifespan and like I'm like rushing through well not rushing but like I need it to be like chaotic and I was talking about this in um the sims discord that I was part of and that was that I am part of <laughs> and yeah like I was talking about how like I I need like chaos like I need something to like constantly entertain me when I'm like playing especially if I'm playing like a legacy and that'll help me like stay engaged and like play through like multiple generations and stuff but I wanted her to save the sim that I'm making currently with you all to be more of like a slow play like I want to put effort in I've like been making sim families <laughs> because essentially um the sim her name is Daenerys by the way and that is entirely because I've gotten really really into like Targaryen names and I just think they're really pretty and I was I was sort of in that hyper fixation phase <laughs> when I, I was looking for like a name for her and I thought it was beautiful so her name is Daenerys and she's starting university like she applied to university but she's like living in the university housing building that Lil Simsy made so it's actually like a residential rental which I love so there were like four not four there were three other like dorms essentially and so i thought like it'd be really fun to make like sims and like their families and they'd like live there not their families but like the sims <laughs> would live there with her and it'd be like a fun little like house and she'd be able to like make friends and stuff and like it'd just be fun you know and so i did and i recorded i believe two of the families and I didn't record the last one because I low-key ran out of space. Like I was really in like a Sims creation phase, but like it took me hours because I was like really putting effort in, <laughs> like, like real, real effort. Like I just had like a really strong urge to be creative. And so it took like Making Daenerys right now, like the footage that we're watching right now, sped up, it is like 30 minutes, but like it took me like two and a half hours <laughs> in cast to make her. And I'm like very happy with the outcome, but it took so long to make her because I was really thinking about everything, or at least trying to think about everything, and really trying to make her feel unique. But I really enjoy like the blending, like the two of my favorite sims, like my previous favorite sims. I think that helped a lot because initially I was going to start from just like a random base and try to make a sim like that. But like that was like before I started like recording, I was just like playing around and I kind of hated it. So <laughs> I figured I'd like look at 
the two previous sims and see if I could like make something from like a random base too. But then I was like, why am I doing that when I can just like smash their faces together and create a new sim that I know I like? Because <laughs> I know I like both of those sims and like their features and everything. And it was really so smart of me to do that. Because then I ended up with like this sim with like, I would say minimal work, but like two and a half hours is not really minimal <laughs> but i enjoy her a lot actually and i started like playing a little bit with her but then i had to like start up a different save to like feed the chaotic need so i was i was playing like a rex torches because i feel like that that consistently makes me feel like like excited to play because I like like having to work for something and so I actually did start playing and I'm thinking I'm gonna do like a current households video for her eventually <laughs> I just I like the the vibe of her like university housing and like her friends and stuff and I think it'd be interesting definitely interesting So, she's currently in uni, but um, I basically added like everything. So I wanted to see what like her parents' genes would look like again, like in a, another genetic gamble. So I made them have like twins, like one boy, one girl. I wanted to see what their genes would look like again. And so those twins are just infants right now, so like they don't really look like anything yet <laughs> but i think that it's like impossible for them to have like bad looking kids look you because i peeked like a little bit at what they look like and they look pretty good and then i added the sim that i was talking about from like the wheel spin let's play thing that i tried who is actually like london's mom her name is paris and so i added her in and she's an elder and then i made um daenerys parents adults because she's a young adult like I wanted to make sure that the ages made sense and when I was making her I like I don't know I was really in like an autumn-y Halloween-y kind of mood but I didn't want to have to deal with like a cult right now <laughs> and um so basically I made her like interested in like spellcasters like hypothetically obviously because there's no like option to have like a favorite occult but i feel like she'd be really intrigued by spellcasters and like magic in general and probably like werewolves by association because um like the sims lore is that like werewolves were once spellcasters but they like found a different way to like interact with i, th I think like the moon or whatever and so like their magic is like different <laughs> it's like not like magic in the way that spellcasters have it but it's in a different way <laughs> i can't remember but basically if you like play through like the werewolves and like read all the little books and stuff they put so much time and thought into it like i really have to applaud them because they really put so much effort into the lore for that pack and i really appreciate it and low-key, this, like, the voiceover for this is, like, a little rambly and, and more, like, free-flowing. <laughs> um, and hopefully that's okay. But essentially, she's going to university, and I think it's for, like, communications or something like that. Something like that. But I wanted her to be into, like, jewelry making because I still really haven't played through Crystal Creations that much. And I would like to change that. And oh yeah, and so basically <laughs> when I made her, I made like a Pinterest board basically to get like photos that gave me a certain vibe that I would then like sort of transfer over to her. And so for her like dress aesthetic, I, it was supposed to be like dark feminine energy. And I think I kind of sold it but like I was literally going like off of reference photos for especially this particular um outfit <laughs> but for quite a few I had like actual reference photos but like it's like 
goth but not really <laughs> it's literally like cold dark feminine aesthetic like the dark feminine aesthetic and i really liked it it felt very much like fall to me and so i kind of like went with it in like the best way possible and those boots are definitely a staple in like quite a few of her outfits but i saw it in a lot of the outfits for like the dark feminine aesthetic and i'll try to include some of the photos that i was looking at uh here so you'll know what i'm talking about and i'm not just like completely like gone but <laughs> yeah i really liked the vibe i liked the aesthetic so i really wanted to lean into that with her and i think again that i did a pretty decent job And so, like, I wanted her to be, like, slightly interested in the moon, slightly interested in, like, spellcasters in general. So I made, like, a few, like, spellcasters just to throw in. But also some, like, humans and stuff because humans. And I didn't do the thing that I normally do where I have, like, a one true pairing. <laughs> and I, like, I know ahead of time. But, like, I just put, like, a bunch of different options, like, in her, like, housing space. And she can also, like, not date any of those people that she doesn't want to. Like, I'm really trying to go based off of what, like, the sim wants. I'm not trying to rush. I'm trying to play very slowly. I'm on normal lifespan, but I might even, for the first time in my life, switch it to long. Just because there's more time there. But I have, like, a mod that makes university, like, shorter. <laughs> so, like... He doesn't she's not gonna be in university for very long so i really have to think about like what i want to do but like her parents are rich because um i'm pretty sure sophia is like a freelance maker or whatever so the money did not come from her <laughs> but linden is actually a model like a professional model i remember like when i was playing her like that was that was her job so she had like a lot of money like a lot of money <laughs> so she's like not struggling right now too much just because like her parents gave her enough money to like move into the dorm and be like okay for like tuition and stuff but she doesn't have like a ton of money because i didn't want it to be too easy and so yeah <laughs> i didn't make her like dorm with anyone like in her actual space and because it's not like university housing, like technically it's actually a residential rental. It's really actually very cool. <laughs> I like it more like this because I was able to like move the people that I wanted to see into their like respective rooms and then have like the downstairs space be like the shared space. And then you'll see the people that you want to see like occasionally <laughs> and they'll like pop in downstairs and you can like cook for them and stuff I just it's really dope like I was having a really good time when I was playing with her and yeah and I'm really excited to show you guys like the other sims that I made to like populate her social life and it took me like 30 minutes to find a name for her. <laughs> I literally had to cut that part of the footage out because it was literally just me standing there <laughs> staring at like her standing there trying to figure out what name I wanted to go for and I thought Daenerys was good because it wasn't like super high fantasy but like it kind of was and it wasn't Daenerys because I swear I, I, that's too much <laughs> she's too iconic and i couldn't do that like that's a little ridiculous you know but i made her a love bug a music lover and high maintenance because i thought that'd be a good challenge and i could not think of what i wanted her lifetime aspiration to be but i figured i'd be able to change it like when she finishes it or like if i don't really feel like that's really the direction that like her life is going in anymore 
and I gave her a bunch of like different interests and stuff. I was really thinking about it. Like the personality part, I feel like I always make exactly the same. But um, I really was trying to like think of other things <laughs> or um, part of like and stuff. It took me like forever to find her like formal wear just because I wanted to see a bunch of different dresses on her and like see if I liked them but like I was just more caught up in like looking at the options but like I didn't really think that any of those fit because I was again looking at a Pinterest board <laughs> for like outfit references and I was using that to determine like what she would wear so I already sort of had an idea of what I wanted her to wear, but I just wanted to try out some dresses. And of course I, I stick with Sensei because one thing about Sensei, <laughs> they're gonna make a good dress. And yeah, I just love all of them. And it was really, really hard actually picking through like the Sensei one because like the other ones I just wanted to try out, but I had like two or three Sente dresses that like, I really could not decide from and I eventually went with this one because I just love it. I think it's my favorite one of like the newer dresses. And I used the necklace and earring set from Sente's, I want to say 17th anniversary, but that might be just me saying numbers. <laughs> but as they had an anniversary, like a big anniversary recently and their gift was that like crazy amazing necklace and earring set and so I had to get it because like hello <laughs> like what are you seeing that like it looks great it looks so good and I wanted to give it to her because if I gave it to any other sim like it would be like outlandish but she has a rich family like I feel like they'd be able to afford that and it's a formal wear like I feel like if there's any other outfit that this would work for it would be that you know it just made sense to me <laughs> and I wanted to use it so badly because it just looks so pretty but I couldn't just I can't just like throw that on anybody <laughs> because that's like crazy expensive jewelry like I can't just like throw it around so I was really glad that I was able to use it on her and it actually made sense And I wanted to give her like a locket because I do this a lot with them. So I'll give them like a particular piece of like jewelry. And I, I like to sort of imagine that like their family gave it to them as like a gift and now they like wear it all the time. Just to give like Sims a bit more like personality. That's not right. <laughs> it's more like a, a subtle bit of personality or like history. And I gave her a back tattoo of like the moon and some other stuff just because like i feel like again she would be more intrigued by spellcasters and like the moon and like, their relationship with the moon and stuff so i wanted to like throw that in
and I really like like dark feminine aesthetic it's kind of like whimsy goth a little bit in some aspects but I, I wanted to say like a slightly more polished version of whimsy goth might be a little controversial to say but um yeah because <laughs> it's still quite dark and like your sims wear quite dark clothes but like i don't know <laughs> like i feel like whimsy goth is like a boho sort of version of like traditional goth and this one has like elements of boho but it's much more polished without it actually like being full-on like, traditional goth it's just more of like a darker themed clothes vibe If you follow me on Tumblr or Twitter, then you've already seen <laughs> Denaro. Because I posted her like the very next day after I made her. Because she was just so good. Like I couldn't not post her. And I don't really post on Twitter anymore. And this is like a mini rant. But like ever since like Elon Musk bought Twitter, it's really been like ruined. Because it's sort of incentivized like Twitter blue or whatever and it sort of suppresses people that don't have that and like one I'm not paying for Twitter but two I'm not paying Elon Musk to be on Twitter you know <laughs> I'm not doing that that's ridiculous so like my posts really got like suppressed and it was like really unfortunate because like the year that he bought it was like the year that I really started like I don't know, like making traction, you know, getting more people to like see my stuff. And it was really unfortunate <laughs> that like all the changes happened. So I've mainly been like a uh, repost account low key and I'll like respond to people that like I follow and like follow other simmers back and just like repost stuff to try to keep people's timelines like at least a little bit sims related like i really wasn't doing much <laughs> in terms of like actually posting my sims i was like most active in the sims discord that i'm part of in terms of like posting my sims and that sort of took the place of like sims twitter <laughs> in like a lot of ways actually but like a lot of people that are in that discord are also on twitter so it was just it was a little funny but <laughs> And so I posted her on Tumblr and Twitter and Tumblr doesn't have that issue that Twitter does. And I also like reblog a bunch of like CC and stuff. If you're like ever wondering where I got like a new piece of CC, I most likely reblogged it on Twitter. Twitter? I most likely reblogged it on Tumblr. If you want to follow me over there, shameless plug. But honestly, it's just helpful <laughs> for people that are always um, curious about where I get my CC from. My Tumblr is linked in the description box. All of my socials are really, but like Tumblr, if you're looking for like CC finds, basically. But yeah, and I really enjoyed making this and that's why I wanted to make it like its own video. Because I see people with like their own like original character sims that they put like so much time into <laughs> and they like almost only play with them and I really wanted to like do something like that because I never have really and I've had like favorite sims but like I don't only like I never end up playing with them basically <laughs> like I just like looking at them and like posing them and like using them for like photos and stuff but like I don't ever like play with them properly and I haven't ever like put the time and energy into like a save 
fully <laughs> or at least to the extent that I'd like to right now so that was sort of what I'm doing with the sim and this part is mainly just me like adultifying her parents so that way they don't look so young because <laughs> they really are supposed to be adults now And you might recognize Sophia as like the face of the channel <laughs> because she is very much the face of the channel because she was just my favorite sim at that point and I don't think I'd made London when I had like switched the channel over so yeah and I just I really like the way that it looks I don't think I'm gonna be changing anything about like the channel's looks anytime soon but hopefully <laughs> when I eventually do uh, get tired of like the way that it looks and I want to like switch things up I'll use Denaro as like the channel face just because I feel like that makes sense <laughs> um, but it was really fun like adultifying my sims mm. honestly I, I haven't complained about like the lack of like half gray half other color hair in a while so i feel like i should bring that back real quick i really wish we had more like control over that like even an overlay i feel like that would be so helpful like an overlay so like the top of any hair could be gray would be so good and i feel like that would maximize our like capability to use it in age sims in that way because then we don't have to worry about like the weird colors and stuff these screenshots which I was very happy with actually and I liked showing like the three of them together and you can really see like each facial feature from like her parents when they're like all together like that and I had fun I really did I loved like the posing time <laughs> especially with like the searchable pose player like it makes my life so much easier and yeah I, I just I enjoy her but let me know what you think do you also enjoy her also did you know about like the dark feminine <laughs> aesthetic because I definitely didn't like let me know would you be interested in me doing like a dark feminine aesthetic lookbook video 